stoked. My name is Brian Burtness. And how long have you been a surfer? Uh, I've been surfing pretty much all my life. Um, kind of started out when I was young and then kind of gave it a little rest for a little bit and I'm back. Getting back. Yeah. I'm Jeff Pedersen. Uh, I've been surfing for, I guess, about 20 years now. Uh, since I was a little guy, probably about five or six, since 1970. It was a song made of dreams, and it had just begun. Sunrise woke me with a beautiful song A brand new day in a beautiful world Ran through the back of school morning shadows My friends next door will meet me by the wall Our lives as free as a fantasy What a wicked a dream It was a summer of fun And you know that's what we had It was a summer to which I will always look back We were just growing up Walking a straight path Having the time of our lives In the summer of 80 What is it about surfing that uh, drives you to do so often? Uh, I guess I've just been doing it so long. Uh, it's just one of those things that's just become more of a pastime for me. And, and uh, well, I guess a better way to put that would be it's become more of a way of life for me than anything else. So it's not as much of a sport as something that I just naturally do every day. Just a part of waking up like you'd brush your teeth. I do that and then I just go and surf. Yeah. So. Uh, just, uh, you know, I know what I'm looking for during the day is like, you know, traffic or sitting behind a computer. So out here, you know, whether it's a crowd out in the water, but still to get away from people, you yeah. know, it's just fun, you know. Another pain, we're off to Montreal. Bush will be Caesar's Niagara Falls. We should watch Wokes too. Right here waiting for you. It was a summer of fun, and you know that's what we had. How did you learn to surf? Um, basically, some, me and some friends got together. You know, we um, grew up in Huntington Beach, and um, just kind of culture, you know. Everybody was was surfing. We got into it, and um, and now you're, now I'm hooked. I was basically thrown in the water with my parents. So, you know, luckily being growing up in California, and being by the water, I was uh, was kind of hereditary. What would be your perfect day coming out? Well, I think there's a lot of different, you know, variables on that. But, you know, obviously waking up and, you know, if the water's warmer than it's being cold, you know, I think that's a cool thing. Uh, but waking up and just catching a good wave actually sets your day, whether it's a barrel or the set of the wave or the set of the day. You know, it's just one of those things. It's one wave can make your day and, you know, one bad wave can, you know, wreck your day. So. Watch it fly like a kite. I like to tape record everyday life. Any uh, favorite memories? Well, I have a lot of favorite memories. Uh, probably be the first time I stood up on a wave. I can like remember it really vividly and that was like after that first time I caught that wave and rode it all the way from the outside to the inside I was hooked and ever since then I've just been all about it so yeah. uh, you know always a great adventure of uh, you know driving down the Baja coast and scoring good hurricane swells and getting stuck in a hurricane and you know you know great stories to tell afterwards yeah. it's always an adventure Having the time of our lives in the summer of
Oh, God. <laughs> 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 